and welcome to this locomotive top 40 2022 <laughs> yeah that's right this is a uh, kind of a response to all the questions i got not just this year but uh, since i would say day one can't you please show us your rolling stock? <laughs> that is at least one comment per each video. So this is the video for you. I will be showing you, I would say, <laughs> majority of my rolling stock in this uh, uh, top 40. And what is the top 40 about? Well, it's uh, actually uh, this uh, program I'm using, Rockrail, to manage the, 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 the trains on the layout. It measures how many hours each train has run or each locomotive on the layout so we're starting from number 40 and working our way up to the locomotives i've been running most this year but before getting started in that i want to send a big big thank you to you patrons supporting the channel making this possible and also you viewer of course watching this video and other videos and thereby by the commercial in the beginning supporting the, the channel as well without you of course there would be no channel with that said let's get on with the chart on the 40th place we find the br81 which is a steamer well this one has uh, motor problems i've tried to replace the motor brushes but not very successfully so i have to do some more rework on it well this has been on my layout since 2001 it has this telex which is good for switching another locomotive which doesn't work all that well only around five minutes this year is the d109 it's a beautiful locomotive with the wooden parts but it runs not very well low traction poor uh, current pickup and also some drive issues i don't really see a future for this uh, locomotive but uh, we'll keep it anyway it looks good and i have it sometimes when i make videos I purchased it back in uh, 2000 as an analog locomotive and I have converted it. Another locomotive which was purchased um, at the start for the construction of this layout is the RC3 1058-1. Well, this one is uh, digital and has uh, sound features of the early type but the old type drive motor from Märklin so well it uh, works quite kind of okay but there is a new version of uh, this RC loco however it's in blue paint scheme coming out from Märklin this year and it has the new motor and new drive so I look forward to that on the 37th place running 23 minutes this year is this uh, UE switcher I originally bought two of these to serve at the H Boda and V Boda, but uh, just a year after it was replaced by the same locomotive in brown litera instead. So since then I've sold one of the two and this one remains up at the main yard. On 36th place we have a Swedish steamer called E2940, it's a Jekko Loco. This one's been running 36 minutes uh, this year and uh, it's mostly because it was introduced on layout in October. And uh, well, I also had some issues in uh, some of the turnouts and uh, it's also a bit sensitive to irregularities in the tracks, which I have plenty of in my layout. So it uh, has been sitting in the vitrine also for some time but it has a fantastic sound map it runs beautifully on uh, level flat tracks and uh, also it has this built-in steamer unit which i think is a must for steamer locomotives so i'm hoping to run this more under the coming year on spot number 35 running one hour and 15 minutes is one of the switchers uh, the ub switcher which was uh, replacing the ue switcher i prefer to have the brown era on my layout and uh, well one hour 15 minutes is uh, typical for switchers on my layout and this one came with telex so you can remotely 
disconnect cars from the locomotives when working in yards. And uh, here's the other one running 15 or 16 minutes longer, one hour and 31 minutes. This one's identical to the previous one and it does the same job. Both these uh, locomotives, they run very well. They have uh, the new miniature motor. It has wonderful drive and uh, well, I, I can't really say anything bad about it. It's, uh, it has a wonderful sound map as well. The E40 locomotive on 33rd place arrived to the layout as late as December. This was purchased on eBay. Uh, I think I gave only 80 euros for it, so very affordable. And it has sound, it has this uh, new motor and uh, fantastic drive. If nothing happens, then I would assume this one ending up at top 10 for 2023. Number 32, running 1 hour and 43 minutes, is the BR43. This one came to the layout back in 2000. It was purchased as an analog device and uh, converted using this uh, 60 -70 conversion kit. It has the old motor, the old drive, so it's uh, kind of noisy. And I've removed the sound decoder from it, which I had it equipped with over a period of time. I had a period this year between March and uh, July where I drove a lot of uh, steamers and uh, I think the hour it got was from that period of time. Otherwise this one keeps the engine shed busy. On 38 we have another RC3 which was purchased at the same time as the previous one. This one had run 1 hour and 50 minutes pulling uh, the NMJ 60s type cars uh, on the layout. These cars, they have a tendency to derail sometimes, so that's why this train is not running all that much. But they look great, and I think I will change the couplings. I, I equipped these with the American short couplings, and that doesn't work all that well. On number 30, we have the T44314, which is actually the 376, which has been uh, renamed because I have a number of these. These have the Sinus C type drive, so it's a beautifully kind of floating drive over the tracks. The current pickup is also almost perfect. The only thing you can say about it is that the cabin is not screwed in place. It's just snapped and it sometimes unsnaps. So if you want to say something, that's about it. Spot 29 running 2 hours and 4 minutes is the DA936 from Rocco. This locomotive is a real climber. It uh, will go everywhere on the layout without any problems at all. Pulling these uh, regional uh, passenger coaches from Pusporet, which was running in the area for my layout, meaning Stockholm area. Oh, this set is working as the regional trains on the layout. On place 28 is another of these uh, diesel locos. This one has the green cargo label, which I added when I got the locomotive. I typically uh, look up a prototype photo on the internet and then I make the detailing according to that after I change the number of the locomotive. So now I have, I said, a total of three of these working freight service. On spot 27, running 2 hours and 42 minutes is the V100 German diesel switcher. This is uh, one of my favorite. It has uh, this uh, telex uh, coupling so you can remotely disconnect cars which is uh, very nice when working in, um, in the yards. But uh, this locomotive also uh, runs uh, coal transports up to the locomotive station. So that's why it has a bit more running hours than the other switcher engines. You see here 
how the TLX works. So, very nice. I bought this secondhand on eBay for a low cost. Here's another classic. It's the number 26. The Crocodile CE68 in brown uh, color scheme. This was uh, purchased back in the days, I would say about 10 years ago. But I haven't really found any real application for it. That's why it has such low running hours anyway. So if anyone has a, a good set of cars which I can hook up on this, please let me know. Comment in the comment field. On place number 25 is the third of these T44376. And this one's been running three hours and two minutes. And as you see, I mentioned the cab earlier. Here you can see that the cab has snapped off. Later versions of this uh, locomotive got screws. So they're fixed down to the chassis with a screw. But otherwise, these versions can be purchased quite cheap and they run beautifully. On place 24, we'll find the old uh, type of BR103. This BR103 was purchased also about 10 years ago. It has the old drive and the old motor, but has been my favorite and it's been on in the top three for many years. But uh, now with the new drives coming out, uh, this one has mostly been sitting in the vitrine instead. I got this locomotive about 10 years ago from my wife and then I purchased this set, a classic 80s set of TEE cars. And this train has run a lot on this layout. The 23rd place, running 3 hours and 32 minutes, is held by the HJ locomotive. This is a Swedish style locomotive. I previously had one in the orange uh, color scheme, but I sold it on eBay, uh, which I regretted. <laughs> then I had to buy this brown instead. Uh, it came to me as an analog device, so, and so I have. Um, uh, made it digital it also had some defects which i had to correct but now it's running quite well um, it has kind of poor traction so it will not pull more than two or maximum three of these regional coaches here's a favorite from the years back it's the s-bahn br420 running four hours this one's been sitting in the vitrine for a while. It has uh, decoder problems. It uh, had the decoder problems already from start. I've been talking to other people having this version and the Trix version and they also see that sometimes this train just stops and the motor sound runs but the motors will not turn. Which is a problem if you run commuter traffic. This problem typically occurs when reversing the train or when it runs over a dirt stop and loses power momently. On 21st place is a real classic. It's the V200, the Red Moose, as Märklin calls it, running 4 hours and 28 minutes. I purchased this uh, locomotive on eBay analog and I have put in an uh, MSD3 sound decoder and replaced the rotor with a five pole rotor. Anyway the drive is kind of noisy so this one would probably see a lot more hours if it had a better drive. So perhaps that's something to think about for the future. But it does a good job and uh, I also like the sound map I downloaded from the Märklin library into this uh, sound decoder. All right, <laughs> an old V200. Yeah, and I, I heard that the new uh, V200 from Märklin is awesome with the new drive and uh, wonderful uh, running characteristics and a great sound map. We'll see <laughs> if I invest in the coming year in one of those. It's uh, yeah, every locomotive is a 
It's an investment. I talked to my friend and I said, hey, I'm, I'm doing this top 40. Oh my God, that's fun. What's your top 40? And he said, yeah, let me, let me have a look. And uh, guess what? His number one from top 40 was this one. The layout you see here is Magnus Hellström's autumn uh, styled layout and the locomotive number one spot is the BR57. Good traction and excellent power pickup. And on third spot was the new V200. So <laughs> I should maybe consider uh, see if I can buy one of those and replace my, my old clunker here. But let's get on now with the chart moving upwards. And that brings us up to place number 20. It's the BR64 which I bought when it was released from Merklin. It has the new motor, the new drive runs beautifully along the tracks. The sound is um, maybe not uh, top notch but uh, I like the sound map and it has been running a lot on my layout. A bit less nowadays since I've experienced some power pickup problems and I also had some issues with the smoke generator. I hope I've solved the problems now uh, so the BR64 can resume uh, pulling uh, local trains on the layout. In spot 19 we find a Swedish DA940 locomotive. This is a Rocco item number 68532 running 5 hours and 27 minutes. This is uh, my favorite of these two uh, DA locomotives from Rocco. Mainly because it has the wheels with spokes. I think that is the most good looking version of this uh, DA style locomotive. And this one's pulling long distance trains. Also NMJ 60s style uh, coaches. And here you see the wheel with the spokes with the attached push rods. Yeah, I really, I really like this one. On the 18th place is a real classic. It's the BR50 with a cabin tender. This has the Mar Merklin item number 37835. And uh, I have equipped it with an MSD3 decoder and smoke generator. I purchased this uh, locomotive secondhand on eBay. I would say seven years ago and uh, since then as I said I've replaced the decoder since the old one broke down. I made a video some years back I would say two or three where I weathered this uh, BR50 together with another a similar one but with a standard tender. So if you're interested in uh, weathering techniques for BR50, check those videos out. The 17th spot is held by a Danish diesel. Uh, it has the Litra MY1132 running 6 hours and 24 minutes on the layout. This uh, locomotive typically runs uh, local freight traffic and therefore it has a, a relatively low count in uh, running hours. But the locomotive itself uh, has excellent traction pulling almost endless trains. I would say uh, the sound map is uh, great as well and the uh, power pickup is uh, flawless as well. So I think this is uh, a really good uh, locomotive to, to buy for your layout. On the 16th place running 6 hours and 36 minutes is a Pico locomotive of this ocean blue beige uh, colored sheamed BR140. One of my favorites. It kind of flows over the tracks. It, uh, the price was also uh, good. I purchased it new from Modellbahn Union. I would say uh, three or four years back. And it's pulling this uh, set of uh, beige and ocean blue color scheme uh, coach set, including this uh, luggage car in the end. 
That, my friend, brings us up to place number 15, which is held by the BR50-2362, which was one of two locomotives included in the starter pack I bought um, back in 2001, I think. It do have the old drive and uh, also the old five pole high efficiency motor, so it's a kind of noisy beast. But it has a good current pickup and it runs uh, flawlessly everywhere with all kind of uh, cars behind it. So that is worth uh, a whole lot, I think. On the 14th place, running 8 hours and 32 minutes, is uh, this uh, mighty beast called uh, DM3, which is a 3 unit iron ore train. This unit was produced only in 500 uh, units, uh, well, the model uh, that is, um, and it was released a few years before Merklin's own version was released. This one has uh, wheels with spokes, and uh, well, I, I really like this version. It's uh, working flawless. I don't have any issues at all. It has, of course, excellent traction and can pull a tremendous amount of uh, iron ore cars, if you like. Number 13 is held by the classic BR24. Uh, this one has the item uh, a number 36242 running 11 hours and 22 minutes. This locomotive is pulling local passenger trains between uh, Himmelsboda and Winkelboda. I purchased originally two of these, but uh, they both came with defective motors, which made the decoders burn. So, um, well, after a while I sold one of them, I replaced the motor in one plus the decoder for the third, third time and after that it has been running just excellent and uh, well it also have the dynamic smoke with the last download from Merklin so the smoke is reduced on the station and increases when it accelerates place number 12 is held by the BR12 actually running 12 hours and 10 minutes it has the item number 29012 and that item number tells us that this is from a starter set and I purchased this locomotive secondhand on eBay since then I have weathered it and I've also replaced the decoder with the MSD3 and downloaded the last sound project from Merklin website. After that it has been running flawlessly and as said it's pulling long distance train on the layout. The Swedish locomotive MA 880 holds the 11th place. This is a Jekyll Loco. It has run 12 hours and 28 minutes. This uh, type from Jekko has excellent sound map. I love the sounds uh, from it. It runs quite well on uh, the layout. It has a kind of heavy appearance and it pulls long trains. Here it's uh, pulling the Hellion set of 30s uh, coaches, which was released uh, for more than 10 years ago. All right, we're getting into top 10 now. And uh, well, <laughs> when I think about my model railroad and the, and the trains on it, these are probably the 10, 10 trains I actually can, you know, tell from heart. The rest is like, yeah, well, I have, yeah, I have those two as well. <laughs> but these 10, they really run a lot on my layout. Position number 10 is held by the X02 rail bus. Merklin number 34262 running 13 hours and 22 minutes. When I got home from the dealer with this model, I didn't know if I should cry or laugh because it had the noisiest and poorest drivetrain I've ever experienced. This is an old Trix design. Uh, I had to do some extensive rework to make it run properly. I, for instance, ripped out the entire interior and encapsulated the drivetrain using thick sheets of asphalt. I also replaced the, the electronics with a decoder and well now it runs quite well and it has something. On ninth place we find the Swedish RA9800 
9 from Jacko. This one's been running 13 hours and 26 minutes. A lot less last year though, but that was because um, it has a, a, a wobbly wheel flange which wasn't properly assembled from factory. But once I got that straightened out, it has been running a lot on the layout. It runs really well and it pulls this uh, set of... Um, uh, 50s coaches from uh, NMJ. The local, a uh, very nice sound, uh, an extensive sound map uh, which I really like, and uh, all the detailing looks nice as well. So, a real favorite in this RA989. The next position in the short is split between two locos. This is one of them, BR110 which originally is a uh, analog Rocco uh, locomotive which I purchased uh, I think 40 euros on eBay and uh, I equipped it with a digital decoder and after that it runs superb it kind of floats over the tracks also like the detailing and the appearance of this uh, set with uh, blue and green German coaches the other locomotive on place number uh, 7 in is uh, Snell Torget. Uh, this uh, has a fantastic uh, sound map. It runs also excellent over the tracks. It has perfect uh, current pickup and well I simply just love this set. And uh, now uh, Merklin since uh, 3 years released this uh, uh, Snell Torget um, set with coaches and the NMJ uh, the Norwegian company released uh, the restaurant coach it's a full set and um, if you're interested in this uh, locomotive it's uh, most often still available at the dealers at kind of affordable price and if you want it even lower in cost it's uh, available most often on eBay Back in 2020, Rocco released this gem. It's the BR103195-4. It has run 15 hours and 47 minutes on my layout. Well, what could you say about this? It's um, nicely detailed, nicely designed, fantastic sound map and it kind of floats over the tracks. I was also lucky to find this set of TEE coaches at a nice price on eBay. On fifth place we find a special one. This is the Mac Diesel. Uh, it has originally item number 37658 running 16 hours and 21 minutes. But this one has been repainted and re-decaled by a guy up in northern of Sweden. And it's pulling a set of uh, cars for maintenance and since i uh, arranged a schedule uh, which this uh, train follows it goes to certain destinations on my layout stops there and make some maintenance uh, and i've arranged this with the uh, working lights which uh, goes on and off and things like that so usually maintenance is not all that fun but in this case it is after summer in August, I wanted to run 80s style uh, Swedish trains and then this uh, train came on the tracks. It's the RC2 which came to me originally as an analog uh, locomotive uh, which I converted to digital and purchased these uh, cars to it. The motor and the drivetrain in this locomotive is uh, the old style five pole efficiency. So, uh, well, maybe not the optimal. It does not have sound either, but it's the only one I have from the 80s era. That brings us up to third place, which is the X2000, the speed train in Sweden, which I purchased uh, in March this year. It has run 19 hours and 38 minutes. However, it required a lot of rework of my layout. I had to remove all the semaphores on all the turnouts to make it uh, to have it uh, running around, and it can also 
just run mainline. So I actually sold this just a month ago. And on second place is the BR44, which I purchased um, new uh, two years ago when it was released and it's pulling this set of tank cars and uh, this is uh, really one of my favorites i had as mentioned earlier a long steam era uh, this spring and uh, during that time this locomotive run in every session i would say if you browse the video index you will find a video where i unpack uh, um, assemble power pack and weather this locomotive uh, when I got it here. So if you're interested, check that out. And on first place, the BR218 in uh, Alterot, meaning the old style red color scheme. This was also purchased two years ago when it was released. It has the new motor, the new drivetrain, a fantastic sound map and it runs like a charm everywhere. The current pickup is also excellent so no fuss anywhere on the layout. And it's a real puller, excellent traction so you can pull really long trains if you like with this beast. So with 29 hours and 25 minutes this train takes the crown from the BR-103 from Rocco, which won this uh, top 40 last year. And when I look into the statistics, it's most often a new locomotive which wins or at least ends up in the top three. It usually takes one year after the release though, because most of the new items are delivered in late at the year like October so they do not get more than two months of runtime before end of year. All right <laughs> so there you have it the top 40 most run locomotives on this layout for this year and as I said uh, about five or ten uh, is sold off on eBay each year and about five or ten are purchased new or used and uh, come here to visit the layout as long as they work properly <laughs> otherwise the risk getting sold off again so that's how things work here uh, hey uh, if uh, you want to be a part of the community support the channel and make sure that the continuity is uh, maintained get over to patreon set up a support account there from you know like one or two dollars per month or get over to, to uh, PayPal. Uh, I have the link to the PayPal dialogue in, in the video description below. Make a one-off donation uh, and support the channel that way. Otherwise, uh, I look forward to seeing you in next year. Uh, first video will be coming up early January and uh, thereafter uh, following about 25 videos which I have in plan for 2023 so and so if you haven't yet become subscriber subscribe enable that little bell and you will get a notification once next video gets published until that happens see ya